All right, y'all, I have some leftover mashed potatoes. Oh, I didn't heat them up good enough, but we're just gonna, I don't know, a couple cups maybe? I'm not sure how much it is, but it was in a bowl. So I'm just gonna spread these out on the bottom of my nine by 13 baking dish. I did grease this, all right? So we're just making a layer of mashed potatoes on the bottom, just like this. It's real fun, they smell good. And I just made my mashed potatoes with some whole milk, butter, and then I put some chives in it. That's how I like it. But these are leftover, so I'm gonna show y'all what to do. If y'all ever have some uh, leftover mashed potatoes, real easy. All right, I have one cup of cooked ground beef. I cooked this ground beef with some diced onion and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to say that. Y'all know that, okay? Uh, if you know how to say it, let me know. We're just gonna put this on. And then I also seasoned it with um, some salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, onion, Worcestershire, and that's it. Ground beef, okay? Just like that. So we're gonna spread this out a little bit. Oh. Well, okay. I think I was gonna do something else first, but guess what? We just gonna roll with it. We gonna, we gonna roll with it. All right. So now I also have here, y'all, some sauteed spinach, all right? So in my head, I was gonna do the spinach on top of the potatoes, but guess what? Sometimes life don't work, life don't go the way we plan it, so we just gotta roll with the punches, all right? That's what we're doing here. Some sauteed spinach. So I actually sauteed this spinach in the same pan that I cooked my ground beef. I drained out all the grease, so it has some flavor with the onion and the salt and pepper, all right? So here we go. Ground beef, mashed potatoes, and spinach. Mm-mm. So now what we're gonna do, now this is just for a little, a little flavor. We're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan, all right? A little bit. I don't like using a lot on this, but a little bit, just like that. I know that that's not too much cheese, all right? So the real winner here is our extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar makes everything better. I've been into this ramen thing lately, y'all. I don't know, maybe I should become a poet. What do y'all think? Think I could do it? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. All right, let's get this. Here's my... Okay, let's break this up. So, we're just putting some cheese on top. Y'all know how I do. I don't really measure a lot, but, you know, you can see how much. I put a layer, a layer of cheese, all right? So, next on this dish here, I have some breadcrumbs, and these are just plain breadcrumbs. So, guess what? We're going to do a nice layer right on top. I'm probably gonna use about half of this container, but I'm not sure, maybe a little bit more. We gonna see. Let's see how much I use. Yeah, we're gonna use a little bit more. I like a nice toasty top. Y'all can also use like Ritz crackers. I know that's that's real good too, to make a nice crunchy topping, all right? So we're gonna do that. I have a little bit of melted butter here, so we're just gonna drizzle this right on top. Like so. Mm-mm-mm, butter makes everything better, y'all. Just like my granny said. She's right, she knew everything. All right, what else are we gonna do here? A little parsley? A little parsley, just like that. Mm, 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 mm. So this is a great leftover dish, y'all. Mashed potatoes, ground beef, spinach. You can use a different vegetable if you'd like. Some cheese, some breadcrumbs, green onion. Y'all you know, know I love that. So we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes, y'all. Are gonna love this delicious, easy dinner. All right, y'all, here we have this leftover mashed potato casserole. Look, those breadcrumbs turn nice and golden brown on top. So we layered our leftover mashed potatoes with some ground beef I cooked up, a little bit of sauteed spinach, some cheese, breadcrumbs, butter. I mean, how's this gonna be bad, right? Everything in here is delicious. Y'all, if you don't like spinach, you can use a different vegetable or you can just leave it out. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can get like a whole, okay, well, I was gonna show y'all, but then it was a little hard. I mean, maybe right here you can see the layers. Potatoes, spinach, yeah, it's gonna be real good. All right, y'all, so uh, I love making dishes that use leftovers because then you make them into like a new recipe and I don't know, y'all. I mean, mashed potatoes are delicious. I, you know what, I never met a potato I didn't like. You know that, y'all, I never did. Potatoes in any form are delicious. Mashed potatoes, ground beef, cheese, spinach. I'm gonna burn my tongue, I'm gonna try not to. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take like half of this bite, okay? Cause maybe it'll cool off faster. Give me some of those potatoes. Come on now. All right, I'm having a hard time over here. Mmm, -hmm. y'all, this is so good with the mashed potatoes on the bottom. Y'all, I definitely recommend trying this next time you have a lot of leftover mashed potatoes. Enjoy.